I'm Richard Armitage and I play John Proctor. I believe the essence of John Proctor is that he is, he, despite what he thinks and says, he is a good man who uh, did a, who made a mistake, a huge mistake, but um, in, in his affair with Abigail Williams. But um, I think that I sense that he was always destined to make that mistake, and that's the thing that Miller that makes him um, Miller's creation a bit of a, a genius creation is that it's not um, to to Proctor it's not a surprise that he fell like that. In a way, uh, he always knew that he had that fatal flaw in him. It's why he chose Elizabeth Proctor as his wife because she would be the one person who would keep him on the straight and narrow and um, and uh, it made it doubly worse really. But I, I do believe that Miller is somehow representing himself in the, in the character of John Proctor. I feel that there's a, there's a cry from Miller about his own life and his own fallibility that he, he pens in Proctor. The analogy of climbing a mountain is, is a good one because there are finger holes along the way that you just grip onto and um, in a way too many to mention, many that resonate for me, um, but in terms of when Miller chooses to truly reveal the character, I feel that I feel that the um, it's it's not always in the lines of of the man himself, but um, the first I think the first finger hold is when Abigail says to him, um, "I see you looking up, burning in your loneliness." I think that's the first finger hold uh, of of Proctor because it's true. After Elizabeth was sick, I think there was a burning loneliness in him. And that's the beginning of his fall, um, right the way through to the end of the play when he says, "You know, I have given you my soul. Leave me my name." That's that's the summit. Um, but along the way, a million a million finger holes that Miller gives us. First of all, finding a physical vocabulary for for Proctor was my starting point because I knew that I knew I could get inside of the psychology because it, it, that's. Um, that's something that we do, I think, as people on a daily basis, is, th is that we go through a process of analysis. The physical thing was, was going to be something that I'd have to work on over five weeks. So I went and did some work on a farm in, in Massachusetts. Um, with, I worked with some cows for a, for a week and swept out the, 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 uh, the midden and drove the cows with a whip because I wanted to see you know, what it felt like. And it, um, you know, I was programming my mind to, for, for the kind of conditions, the weather, the smell of the cows, um, anything that I could get that would give me a sort of sensory injection into the to the character. Um, you know, I did a private moment exercise where I was sharpening an axe for about seven hours, um, and and really, uh, you know, after a few hours, you you you're not just sharpening the axe; it's like your body is and the axe are are as one. So, all of that kind of work, an animal. We, um, you know, I I I saw him as a. A kind of hybrid of an animal that was close to a bear, but had a had the sort of f the ferocity of a of a predatory cat as well. So, did a bit of animal work too. I've asked the question of myself and of Proctor throughout the entire performance and rehearsal process. Is you know Proctor's a very physical man. He's got a very um, voracious sexual appetite, and I think that's the core of his essence. You know, he's a man that that works the land, he works with animals, he eats his food and he, you know, has sex with his wife and it's essential to his, uh, to his core being and when that was denied him as his wife was sick, instinctively he, he went somewhere else. Not, that's not to condone what he did was right but it's an appetite that, that um, the man has. I think in the process of the breaking relationship the, that happens because of that action with Elizabeth, he discovers what, what love is. Uh, and to him, I, and to me as well, I think, that, that as, as I've discovered Proctor's discovery of love, it's about forgiveness and acceptance of the flawed man, which is everything that Elizabeth gives to, to him in the final act of the play. I read the play 20 years ago, and I feel like the character has been in the making for 43 years, my life. 
and I suddenly realized um, about three days ago that I will never play this role again. So the next four performances will be, will be, you know, will be digging deep for him.